Hi, Doug Skinner here with HonestIntentions.com. We're doing a productivity tactic here. Outbound email is the goal. I uh, want to do it simply, want to do it quickly. I have a fistful of business cards in my hand. I met some great people. I wanted to send a follow-up email to them real quick. Uh, so this is the way I do it. I just grab the Excel and put in the column headers. These are going to be important because they become components that make up my outbound email. Go do notes. Okay, so uh, first name. I'm going to also enter in my own uh, at, on the first row because I need a test. Okay, so what you see here are the headers in the first row, and I'm going to proceed with entering more data on uh, the business cards. As you can see, now we have several rows, actually 23 uh, have been entered, and next I will make the letter. And so for that, we're going to... Okay, next we need a word application because we're going to write a letter. And I have already written a letter with word. And I am choosing to uh, use the mailings tab. So I've selected mailings. And I've got brackets with the letters that correspond to the column letter so that we can start writing this custom letter uh, with the mapping. Okay, so first I check email messages, then I select recipients, and I'm going to use an existing list. So for that, I would find my customers. There's the data source. So I've just linked the Excel list to the spreadsheet and the, the Word document. And we're picking sheet one. So I'm going to say OK. First row is labels. And uh, next next piece is this, this uh, mail merge select recipients. So you can see all the rows uh, have names. As my test, I'm just going to uncheck everyone and check my own to see how this works out, if the grammar and the uh, mapping works. Okay, so I've selected my, my list. Uh, next, I need to uh, insert my merge field. Okay, so we're going to first pick, first we're going to go to the Make sure our cursor is in the right place. And then it is. So we're going to do dear first name. We pop the first name in there. And I, have, and I want to make sure the grammar is in place. So I have a little comma following the field. And the next up is column B. So I will highlight that. I'll go here. And this is the place. Next up would be uh, the company name. So I'm going to highlight the data in there, and then I'm going to insert the company name. 
column C. Then I have another column for a, a uh, column G. I'm going to be looking for column G, which would be notes, right? So I'm going to pop the notes in there. And then column E, go up to column E here. Okay. A uh, particular conversation we had about column E is conversation. Okay, so I'm going to put a punctuation there. Now we're up to column F, and column F would be the go do. So go do, it's popped in there. Okay, and we're going to scroll down here and be good to keep in touch. And then I've got some more stock answers. So at this point, my custom letter looks like all the fields have been inserted. And what I want to do is see what it looks like. So we'll just go over here. Now this allows you to preview results. Okay, so within the window, I'm going to shrink the ribbon so you can see more of this. I'm going to slide it up. And I'm going to, let's see here, there we go. Uh, bring in the mark, bring in the margin a little bit. Okay, so, dear Doug, I appreciate meeting you in Walnut Creek, bar 52, if I go ramp up. Being aware of your efforts at IMI, okay. Um, so I got the company in there, the place. Great to be introduced to you, learn about your Hollywood entertainment background. Your expertise in branding strategy, on-camera advice, conversation we had about innovation, gave me several ideas for improving my own business. I've received some uh, novel ways uh, to increase my business performance. You get the idea, okay? So what you see is a custom letter. And now I would just go back and move to the Outlook portion where we enter the subject line for this email. So as we move to the final stages here, this is what it looks like. You would see where it says Finish and Merge, okay? And um, I'm going to select that, Finish, Edit. I can edit, edit, I can print, or I can send email messages. So here, this is, this is rather important. Uh, choose the subject line, all right? choose a certain segment of records or a particular record or all the records. Since I've already done that selection, I'm just going to leave it as the all for the radio button. And then we're done. Ready to go. Now since we've tested the uh, email and it seems to be working just fine, uh, we're going to build our production list. Okay, so at this point go to the edit or sit at recipients. Make sure that they're all selected. You can select them all this way. Okay. All the fields are in place. Okay. So we're good to go there. And ready to finish and merge. Email. Got that going. And once we press that, we'll be ready to go. Now we look at the emails that just went out. You can see that there's a uh, field insert on the name, replace, conversation, comments. Okay, each one of these pulled, each one of these insert fields pulled A cell from one of the rows. So each one comes out with my personal statement. <clears throat> As you can see there. Okay, these all just went out on one click.
And that, my friends, is a custom letter using Outlook, Excel, and Word. You have a great day.